Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to take a step back in time, all the way to the Pleistocene era. That's right, we're talking about Neanderthals. These ancient hominids have captured the imagination of people for centuries, and for good reason. They were fascinating creatures that lived among early humans and had a lot of unique abilities that set them apart. So grab a snack, sit back, and let's dive into the world of Neanderthals. You might be surprised to know that Neanderthals were actually humans, just like us. But they were a distant species known as Homo Neanderthals. Along with another Asian species called the Nisovans, Neanderthals are actually our closest ancient human relatives. Scientific evidence suggests that our two species share a common ancestor. But when did Neanderthals and modern humans diverge? Well, according to current evidence from both fossils and DNA, it seems that the Neanderthal and modern human lineages separated at least 500,000 years ago. Some genetic calibrations even place their divergence at around 650,000 years ago. However, due to issues with dating and fossil anatomy, scientists are still uncertain about which species was the last common ancestor of Neanderthals and modern humans. Neanderthals lived alongside early modern humans for at least part of their existence and some encounters between the two species were very intimate. In fact, some of us have inherited around 2% Neanderthal DNA. But when did Neanderthals actually live? The earliest known examples of Neanderthal-like fossils are around 430,000 years old. The best known Neanderthals lived between about 130,000 and 40,000 years ago, after which all physical evidence of them vanishes. Now the question arises, where did Neanderthals actually live? Neanderthals evolved in Europe and Asia, while modern humans, our species Homo sapiens, were evolving in Africa. Fossil evidence from places like Cima de los Huesos in northern Spain and Suascombe in Kent suggests that the Neanderthals lineage was already well established in Europe by 400,000 years ago. Neanderthals ranged widely in Eurasia, from Portugal and Wales in the west across to the Altai Mountains of Siberia in the east. And despite the common misconception that they only lived in cold environments, Neanderthal populations were adaptable and live in various environments. For example, they lived in cold steppe environments in England and Siberia about 60,000 years ago. And also, you'll be surprised to know that they also lived in warm temperature woodlands in Spain and Italy about 120,000 years ago. So. What can we learn from studying Neanderthals? Well, studying these ancient humans can give us valuable insights into our own evolution and the factors that shaped our species over time. For example, studying their DNA can help us better understand our own genetic makeup and how we evolved to be the way we are today. But despite all the scientific knowledge we've gained about Neanderthals, there's still so much we don't know. We still don't know why they went extinct or why modern humans outcompeted them. And who knows what other ancient human species are out there waiting to be discovered? One of the most distinctive features of Neanderthals was their appearance. They had long, low skulls with a prominent brow ridge above their eyes. Their face was also unique with a big, wide nose that some scientists believe was an adaptation to living in colder, drier environments. Their front teeth were large and stretch marks on bones show that they were used like a third hand when preparing food and other materials. Unlike modern humans, Neanderthals didn't have much of a chin. And the strange part is that their physique was short and stocky, which was well suited to cold environments. Their strong muscular bodies had wide hips and shoulders, and they grew to about 1.5 to 1.75 meters tall and weighed about 64 to 82 kilograms. Their proportions minimize skin surface area, conversing heat in predominantly colder conditions of the last 200,000 years. This made them great at close-range ambushes during hunting. Now, despite their reputation as being primitive cavemen, Neanderthals were actually very intelligent and accomplished humans. They were skilled toolmakers, as evidenced by excavated objects such as spears and flint hand axes. Around 300,000 years ago, 
Neanderthals developed an innovative stone technology known as the Louvelua technique. This involved making pre-shaped stone cores that could be finessed into a finished tool at a later time. Immense Neanderthals were free to travel away from sources of raw material and yet be able to make tools when needed. But perhaps the most fascinating aspect of Neanderthals is their intelligence. Their brain size was larger than the modern average, but in proportion to their body size. Homo sapiens skulls from around 30,000 years ago also had larger brains on average than people today. This shows that Neanderthals were not primitive, but highly intelligent and skilled. Another remarkable aspect of Neanderthals was their hunting ability. They were skilled hunters who hunted mammoths, bison, and reindeer. Evidence found on the bones of their prey, such as injuries, suggests that Neanderthals were intelligent and were able to communicate with one another. But hunting wasn't always easy for Neanderthals. Healed and unhealed bone damage found on Neanderthals themselves suggests that they killed large animals at close range, a risky strategy that required considerable skill, strength, and bravery. Despite these challenges, Neanderthals developed the ability to make fire at least 200,000 years ago. The fire was a vital resource for Neanderthals to survive in their challenging environments. Life was hard, but they were resourceful and learned to adapt to harsh conditions. Now, with the thought of Neanderthals comes the debate surrounding the differences between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. While many people associate Neanderthals with being primitive, cave-dwelling creatures, Evidence suggests that they had social structures and displayed compassion towards one another. The discovery of jewelry made from animal teeth and eagle talons indicates that Neanderthals had a degree of symbolism, although there is no clear evidence of them creating representational arts. The analysis of Neanderthal fossils has also revealed that their diet included various plants, fungi, and marine life in addition to large mammals. One of the most pressing questions regarding Neanderthals is why they became extinct. While the evidence is inconclusive, some researchers believe that the arrival of early modern humans may have contributed to their downfall. As humans spread across Europe, competition for resources may have intensified, making it difficult for Neanderthals to survive. Another factor that may have played a role is rapid and dramatic climate change, which would have a significant impact on the plants and animals that Neanderthals relied on for survival. Despite the fact that Neanderthals went extinct over 40,000 years ago, their DNA continues to live on in modern humans. The study of ancient DNA has revealed that Neanderthal populations were relatively low in numbers and diversity during their last 20,000 years. The genome of one female individual from the Altai Mountains shows some signs of long-term inbreeding in her population, which is further evidence of low numbers and isolation. Climate change also fragmented Neanderthal groups during the last 100,000 years, preventing them from building up large populations and continuous distributions across their range. While it is difficult to determine whether Neanderthals had a spoken language, their vocal anatomy and the complexity of their social lives suggest that they were able to communicate with each other. It is also clear that they were capable of symbolic expression, as evidenced by the discovery of jewelry and some Paleolithic artwork in Spain. Although there is no clear evidence of them creating representational art copied from real sources such as animals or people, the Spanish cave art indicates that Neanderthals were in fact capable of artistic expression. There is growing evidence that Neanderthals were not the primitive cave-dwelling creatures that many people once thought. They were social beings capable of symbolism and artistic expression, and their diet was more varied than previously believed. The reasons behind their extinction are still unclear but evidence suggests that it may have been due to a combination of factors, including competition from early modern humans and rapid climate change. Despite their extinction, Neanderthals have left an indelible mark on human history, both through their DNA and the evidence of their social and cultural lives that we continue to uncover. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.